What's up, everybody? This is Matthew Monday. It's known as Mad Twisted from the Damn Modders group on Facebook. I'm first saying you the Virtual Boy emulator for the PS3, the very first emulator to be released. When you download the emulator, you have to put on a USB flash drive. And when you put on a USB flash drive, you go to Package Manager. Go in here, install a package file. Go to Standard. You can go all the way down. Where it says Virtual Boy PS3 by Matthew Monday. You hit X and it will install the PKG after that you go to the icon That was the first commercial that got released for the Virtual Boy that I used for the intro. Go into the Virtual Boy emulator. The core on the first one is already set up. Low content, don't need to do anything. You need to go to here for your ROMs. There's 20 ROMs right here for you to choose from. Show you that example. When you get to these screens, you have to hit circle to bypass the screen. Hit circle again. With the option of Omeg pause, I'll say no to him. <laughs> this is what Virtual Boy looks like for their games. It's red and black. You hit L3, R3 to go back at the same time and yes this has a save stage save state on there so you can save your games and usually for the settings when you put on your when you put on your PS3 you'll notice your settings is like this you hit R3 L3 to go back. And that's what your settings looks like when you first started. To make a widescreen, you just pretty much go back to settings, go to feel options, go to aspect ratio, and change it to 16 by 9. Hit circle to go back, circle to go back, then L3 R3 to go back to the game. And there's your full screen, people. Then you can change games going back to low content. And you got all these 20 games to pick from still. So. 3D textures. This is what they call their 3D for Game Boy long, long time ago. This was their virtual world. L3 
three or three to go back. Little Conti. All the ROMs does work. I have tested them all. So. to do if you do do a save state make sure the game that you go to and you save it make sure you go back into the game later on and go to load state and it'll go back to your save spot for that game and other than that you go to the end where it says quit retro arc and yes it doesn't matter if you have a retro arc on your system or not it will still play and it will work perfect. So I go quit virtual art. guys enjoy the video and you have a nice and safe year hope to see you guys next year bye